guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with one of the latest gaming displays from AOC we have seen quite a few here this is a curved with 34 inches really awesome display it's not really aggressive but not invisible as well so I do believe that it will stand out wherever we place it and there are a few interesting things that I want to share with you. Now this is a quad HD 3440 by 1440 curved ultra wide display from AOC. In terms of the unboxing and assembly, really easy. It comes in a really well packaged box, so no risk at all in being damaged with the transportation, which is always great. We have seen this in the past with other AOC displays. In terms of the assembly, we will find this stand, which is really sturdy. And as one thing that I really enjoy, we can rotate it 360 degrees because it has a plate underneath that will allow that. And the interesting thing is that it will always be facing front. So it doesn't matter where we rotate it, it will always be directed to the front so it's not like other displays that we have seen and some of them of them probably from AOC that we rotate the display and the stand will stay on the same uh, situation now here everything rotates because it's a plate underneath this was really interesting the uh, stand is really sturdy it has a adjustment of height um, I would say about 20 centimeters I will leave a link down below with all the specifications so that you can check out and it also has this inclination which is really really nice and we can adjust a lot besides that if you don't want to use the stand it has a visa mount so we can put it on the wall resolution as I said 3440 by 1440 which I believe that it's a nice resolution to play games I'm using a 3060 Ti or 3060 regular I'm not really sure on this setup but I will try to leave some links down below and I was able to get the 100 Hertz refresh rate which is not the most aggressive that we have seen here on the channel but I do believe that it's a balanced refresh rate really great experience it has a four millisecond response time from gray to gray and it has a VA panel now the only thing that I do notice different from other panels that we have seen here and some of them from AOC is that the blacks being a VA panel are not as black as an IPS panel for example so just have that in mind it's nothing that would prevent me from buying but there is a difference between this panel and IPS panels it also as the uh, low blue light technology that we have seen and it's really great to see on more displays because it will affect our eyes in a positive way so it doesn't hurt our eyes with long hours being used in terms of the display itself I do believe that it's elegant and as I said it's not too much aggressive it has of course this curve that makes it to stand out a little bit more I do love the bezels on the front on the front sorry on the sides and on the top which are really really thin and then it has a chin at the bottom which I would say about one centimeter and a half or so with the AOC logo it has a menu here on the right side the button the buttons for the menu on the right side and actually I did enjoy the menu it is very simple to use it is really complete as all the options that we will find on this kind of display from AOC with brightness and so on and so forth there is one thing that I really enjoyed which was the picture in picture mode it has a lot of options we can use in a small scale medium and large and we can put it anywhere on the screen and of course if we want we can use the picture in picture mode normal which will split the screen into I do believe that it's very useful in some case scenarios like myself which uses more than one operating system so it might be useful in that particular case and I did really enjoy it connectivity wise it has a HDMI 2.0 display port 1.2 a USB hub with 3.2 USB 3.2 with four channels downstream so we can use it as a hub two of them are here on the side it has a 3.5 millimeter audio output by the way it has audio built in with two speakers of three watts each and although we can use it I would suggest either headphones or speakers so that we can have a more immersive experience and it also has the USB type C input right over here which can be used not only to transmit the image but also to power a laptop and charge it up to 65 watt which is what it's doing to my MacBook Pro. Now in terms of gaming I did try for 
I don't know, a couple of hours with Forza Horizon 5, which is always great, a really fun game to play. I did play with my gamepad, GameSeer G4, and I also played a little bit of Battlefield, and the experience was great. By the way, I was using the Ama gaming mouse and the Sharkoon, one of the latest gaming keyboards, but experience was really, really immersive. And when we are playing, we will not notice that it's a VA panel. At least that was my sensation. And that is it. I believe that it's a balanced gaming display that we can use to work. We can use to charge our laptop while we are using it as a USB hub, which is very, very handy. And overall, a great experience link down below hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one